Well, welcome everyone to the third episode in my Road to Infinite series. Thanks for joining in and let's get right into it. Alright, looks like it's hole 11 with 6 miles per hour wind. Try to get a hole in one here. Nice shot. Looks like I did a little too much to the left. Man, I don't know. There's always something with the hole in one maps that doesn't work out. Either the bounce or the wind is something that you just don't read right. A lot of times I play in local, you know, in solo play, and I get holding ones all the time. Either by luck or maybe just because, you know, like I'm actually calculating things right. But for some reason in global games, things don't work out. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Sometimes the wind just pushes it more than I think it does. But we still got a birdie. We should be in first place here. Yeah, nobody else got a hole in one. So there's only three of us with 10 points. Puts us in the lead early on. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's move on to the next round where we get hole 12 with what seems to be really harsh winds. Oh, yeah. Let's see what we got here 31 miles per hour winds. You know, I'm not. I don't think I'm going to the left. That seems risky. I'm gonna hit it to the right over here and uh, oh man it actually hit the tree I wanted it to go to the left of the tree like in between the two trees here but that hit the tree that's not what I wanted to do it's okay looks like I got in the rough of course my shot wobbles man I'm telling you every time you do a practice shot everything looks good and then your next shot has to wobble the actual shot but <laughs> it's okay. I got a rough. Got on rough. Let's see. Looks like some people are getting out of bounds still. That's why I hate going to the to the left whenever it's such high winds. Because you wobble just a little bit. Or you don't aim right or something. The wind pushes it too much forward. There's like a million things that could go wrong. It's better just to play it safe here, I think. Let's see if I could get this putt. For a birdie. Oh man, just barely, just barely got it. It's kind of a tricky slope. I didn't think it curved so much, but. We got a par here. Could have been better. Kind of messed up my first shot. I didn't want it to hit the tree, obviously, but. Let's see what people got. I think I saw a bunch of people get out of bounds and stuff. Oh my god, it looks like someone actually got a limit reached. Wow, nobody... Wow, you see, everyone did really bad. I think, I think it was a good choice, definitely, that I didn't take the shortcut there. Alright, let's see, hole 5. Another, another map where we could potentially get an eagle, another par 5 map. Looks like the wind's actually kind of nice, so... Could take the shortcut here, over the tree. Got a beautiful shot. Full power. We're gonna bounce to the left of the street, but I don't think we're close enough for like a chance on Albatross. I don't think I actually ever got an Albatross in this game. Nice shot. Alright, let's see where this lands us. Yeah, this map's tricky. I uh, I think this is one of the hardest par 5 maps for me because you always get somewhere here, like kind of far away depending on where the wind takes you. Uh, and so you kind of have to wedge it from really far away or sometimes iron it or whatever. And yeah, I just don't know where to shoot it. Actually, that was a pretty good shot. It's just there's hills everywhere, you know, like the terrain goes up on the left side. On the far side, goes down towards the towards the front side. But we got a birdie, not bad. Pretty good. All right, let's see, Tango. I know he's been having a rough game, and he sank it. Oh no! <laughs> Two points, man. What happened? How did he mess up so bad? Ah, uh, he's that he's having a rough game. I think he got limit reach last round, right? 
All right, moving on to hole six. Looks like strong winds again. I actually, actually got better at this map. This is one of my weaker maps because I never knew what to do here, but apparently you just have to hit it towards the right side where the bunker is on the right side. Ooh, I kind of curved my shot accidentally. And it seems like it actually helps me out here. But yeah, essentially what you want to do is you want to hit the ball here because then there's like a nice straight line that you can hit between the trees. And it doesn't seem like I could do it this round. I kind of didn't think about it, but yeah, the wind's pushing right, so I, I can't even really take it here because the hole's on the left side. So I'm going to try to put backspin here. Okay, that was actually pretty good power. I think... All right, good. Good, good, good. Rolls back, puts us in a nice position, not too hard. It's actually pretty good that I uh, backspinned because I think it would have been quite a would have been quite a hard shot had I not put any on. Let's see what I could do here. Nice, 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 nice. Not bad. I think I only saw one other person get a birdie, so it looks like we're still in the lead here. Yep. Damn, finishing semifinals with only 37 points is not ideal. But I mean, they were kind of hard maps. There's just like a bunch of high winds and stuff like that. Looks like here on hole 7, we don't really have any high winds. I don't really see almost any wind. What? It was, it was a little wind, and now I don't see any wind, but oh, it looks like it's two miles per hour, that's why. So, we're going to aim on the left side here. Usually you have two options, either go between the two trees on the right, or aim somewhere here on the left side, and then you could try to hit through the trees. And then you could try to hit straight through the trees like this here. We're aiming right at the flag. I don't really know how much power to do here, so I don't want to go full power. Nice. This probably should be fine. And then, no, looks like, oh wow, no, no, looks like it went way farther out. Oof. That's rough, man. <laughs> that's, that's rough. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to wedge this in either. I'm pretty bad with wedging in general. I think wedging is probably, like, my main weakness. I'm pretty good with putting. I think I could calculate, you know, the angle pretty well when I putt, terrain-wise. Uh, but wedging, wedging's always giving me a problem. Because I don't know how it's going to bounce or roll or whatever. I don't know, it's difficult. But yeah, it looks like I got a par. Could have been a lot worse. And I think that puts us in first place. Yep, puts us in first place with only 44 points. But I'll take it, you know. It was a rough game, honestly. The maps were, were kind of difficult. The winds were kind of annoying. And I think we get S1 over here. Assuming the rank doesn't... Uh, doesn't mess up. Sometimes it barely gives you anything. Nice. Alright, well that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. A like and a comment would go a long way. And as always, take care.